Okay, we're back at the Pearl U and my Hugelberm on contour. You can see there we have completed. I uh, finished filling it in with dirt and then I got some soil conditioner and compost and top dress the very part, uh, top part of the mound. That's why it looks so rich and black. Also installed my trail alongside with some mulch and some straw that I had. And I placed some bare root shrubs. We have here an amber autumn olive. In the middle here, a goji, a wolfberry. And on the end, we have a scarlet gumi right there. These, all three of these are new to me. I have no idea what they're gonna what their uh, growth cycle is going to be like, how long it's going to be until we have some fruit off of them. But the main reason they are on the mound is they are all three nitrogen fixers. So that will give me three perennial nitrogen fixers on the mound itself. And under and around these, I'll plant some of my fun annual things like peppers and tomatoes. So. Also, down slope of the berm, I put in some more plants. This here is an autumn olive. Again, another nitrogen fixer. I put the nitrogen fixer here for the uh, emerald lace elderberry, which is right there. A Siberian pea shrub, another nitrogen fixer. And then my thundercloud elderberry, right there. Um, in addition, I have overseeded the entire mound with an astounding amount of Dutch white clover, some Siberian kale, a couple of varieties of mustard, and some chicory. My hope is, even though we're not quite to the last frost date, uh, we'll get some germination of those cold loving varieties and they can survive the next few mild freezes but mostly I need to hold and stabilize the soil so it doesn't just all drip away. I'm a little concerned back here that back slope is a little bit steeper than I would care to have but it would take a whole lot of dirt to fix that so we're gonna have to stabilize that with some netting roots. And so those, the, the chicory and the mustard and the kale uh, generally produce some pretty good netting roots. And <clears throat> down here where I've got my other perennials go going in, I'm going to get a wildflower mix, some uh, lupine, blue sage, lots of flowering beneficials f to attract the uh, pollinators and to provide homes for the predatory insects that will control, hopefully, the pest insects. All right, so on Tuesday, this was just like this. Dug my trench on Tuesday, finished it on Wednesday, filled it with wood, covered it and dressed it on Thursday, top seeded it Friday morning. And so that's uh, four days to this installation. I'm hoping to get the one downslope done soon. And I'm kind of stuck up here until I can get down some of these trees. That tree in particular. I would really like to bring it down and there's some more trees back here that need to go they're in the power line. So what I'd like to do is kind of set up a hedge of berry and nitrogen fixtures underneath the power line until it exits. But I don't want to set anything out when I'm pretty sure I'm still going to be felling trees and dragging them around. So I'm kind of stuck for a while. Hopefully we can get some I need some assistance to help get that tree out 
and that tree out. And then after that, I'm just going to have to call someone to get the ones that are up into the lines. So, completed project. I'll be back throughout the spring and summer and fall. Because I really want you to see from start to finish, barren to verdant, homogenous to diverse, uh, what can be done. All right. Back soon.